Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about ants. Are you ready? Let's begin! Ants are small insects that are found throughout the world. They are known for carrying objects much heavier and bigger than themselves. Ants are social insects. They live in organized communities, work cooperatively and efficiently, creating a clear division of labor and even wage war. Ants belong to the order Hymenoptera, which also includes bees and wasps. Ants constitute to the family Formicidea, which has more than 10,000 species. Entomologists, scientists who study insects, have estimated that there are probably more ants than any other kind of insects. Ants occur throughout the world but are particularly abundant in hot climates. They make their nest in many materials, including soil, sand, wood, and leaves. Ants range in size from 0.08 to 1 inch. Ants usually are yellow, brown, red, or black. The bodies of ants are divided into three sections, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head is large and the abdomen is slender and oval. The six legs are attached to the thorax. The ant's vital organs are located in the abdomen. The mouth is an important working tool for most ants. It consists of two sets of jaws. The outer pair is used for carrying objects such as food and for digging. The inner pair is used for chewing. Harvester ants have short heavy crushing jaws for breaking seeds. Leaf cutters have jaws with sawtooth edges so that they can shred leaves. The jaws of the Amazon ant are sickle shaped like a curved tool. They use these jaws to kill other insects efficiently. Most ants have simple eyes called ocelli on top of the head as well as a compound eye with many lenses on each side of the head. More useful than the eyes are the antenna, which serve as the main sensory organs. The antenna are the two slender, pointed rods that wave constantly from the head as the ant moves about. Each antenna has a joint at the midpoint, enabling it to bend like an elbow. The senses of smell and touch are located in the antenna. Ants also are able to communicate with one another by tapping with their antenna. Nursemaid ants clean the young with their antenna as well as with their tongues. Males and queens are normally winged, although they use these wings only once on their mating flight. All other ants lack wings. Some ants not only bite, but also sting. Other ants, such as the bulldog ants and fire ants, have powerful stings at the tip of the abdomen. Some ants also sting their enemies by ejecting vapors of formic acid.
Ants do not act individually. Instead, they behave according to the needs of the colony based on their jobs. The number of ants living in one nest ranges from a few to more than a million. Some ants dig chambers and passages in the ground. Others locate their nest under rocks, in trees, or in logs. Now let's talk about the life cycle. The life cycle of an ant generally has four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Most ants live from 8 to 10 weeks. There are three major castes of ants, queen, workers, and soldiers. The queen is the mother and founder of the colony. The queen spends her life laying eggs. The workers are females that keep the colony in good working order. They care for the young, enlarge the nest, and gather food to feed the queen and the other members of the colony. The larger workers, also called the soldiers, defend the nest. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about ants today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!